With Wimbledon only a week away, we have some big names that have already pulled out of the tournament and some massive names that are under an injury cloud. In fact, there's a lot of players that are under an injury cloud. Let's start with the players that have officially withdrawn from the tournament. So on the women's side of things, actually not too many names. We've got Kvitova, of course, pulling out of the tournament because she's having a baby, so we won't see her for a while. And Belinda Bencic, also not playing because she just had a baby. So the only two withdrawals, like I said, we've got a lot of players to talk about that have got injuries on the women's side. Over on the men's side, we've got Lehechka. He's pulled out because of a back problem that he got before the French Open, so he misses another Grand Slam. And of course, Rafa Nadal pulling out to focus on the Olympics and not really risk changing the surface from clay to grass to clay and re-injuring himself. So Rafa's trying to do it for self-preservation so that he can play the Olympics. Now the big list, because there's a lot of injuries coming into Wimbledon and a lot of players retiring mid-match last week and also coming in with injury concerns. Starting with Rabakina. She withdrew from her match last week due to sickness and also pulled out of Eastbourne this week, but with some rest and recovery, we hope to see her at Wimbledon. Ons Jabur also suffering from some sort of illness or some sickness, having to retire her match last week against Coco Goff. Rena Sabalenka, she had to withdraw last week from a shoulder problem and that's the first time she's ever retired mid-match in her career. So you know it's serious when she retires for the first time ever. Von Drusova. Now this one was a bit scary because of course the defending champion of this tournament really needs to play Wimbledon to save her ranking. She slipped on the grass and hurt her leg pretty badly. So we'll keep an eye on her over the next couple of days, see if she actually practices or plays. On the men's side, of course, the big one, Novak Djokovic with the knee problem or the knee surgery. He said he's not going to play unless he's 100%. So we'll see over the next couple of days whether or not he does withdraw. But at the moment, he's just an injury concern. Tiafo also injured himself last week playing on the grass and coming in with some concerns. And Andy Murray, he was wrongfully told that he was not going to play, but then of course confirmed that. So there was a little bit of a miscommunication there from the media. He has a back problem and wants to play Wimbledon, of course, but man, he might not play due to that. So you have it. Some massive players already pulled out of the tournament, of course, Nadal being the biggest, but some massive concerns as well over the next couple of days. Who might withdraw? I mean, Djokovic has said he'll only play if he's, play he's playing his best or is it at maximum. Whatever that means. So we'll see what he looks like. He looks okay on the grass. I mean, he's moving around, but uh, can he play five sets, you know, four-hour matches against the best players in the world? I don't know. Andy Murray withdrew, but then didn't withdraw because it was just a miscommunication. Let me know down in the comments below. Which one of these players do you think will withdraw from the tournament? Because they're all under concerns. That's the withdrawal list as of now. Of course, Wimbledon starting in a week.